What's going on YouTube, GSNorik here, so in today's video I have some new tweaks for iOS 11.x, of course supporting iOS 11.3.x and iOS 11.4 beta 3, that you can use on the Electra jailbreak. Now all these tweaks are new and are created for the iOS 11 or have been updated to work for the iOS 11. And I'm going to start with the first one which is called Duo. Now Duo allows you to create a secondary page for your CC in here, which is the control center, just like you had on iOS 10. As you can see, I was able to pretty much put all my interesting stuff on the first page in here, which is my uh, toggles for Wi-Fi and so on, and the things that I don't usually use a lot, but I still need to have on hand, are on the second page. And this is of course the uh, weather widget, which is part of this tweak, and of course I have the um, Apple TV remote control and stuff like that. So I think it's actually very good. Now this tweak in here is actually paired currently on my device with another one, which is the second one on the list, better CC11. Now, Better CC11 is a tweak that actually separates all these widgets in here so that they look like they look in here. So it's actually very nice in my opinion and they work together very, very well. So if you want to check them out, go ahead. The next one on the list is Shield 11 and this one is actually very, very useful. Of course, for those of you who do not want everybody to be able to access your applications, especially if you're giving away your phone a lot to your friends and I don't know, your colleagues and so on. This application allows you to block with face ID or with Touch ID your applications. For example, if I want to open the clock application that has been blocked with Shield 11, I'm going to go ahead in here and it says Touch ID. So unless I am the owner, I cannot open that application. Of course, you can use it for the photos, for the messages, for the calls, and so on, and everything you don't want people to see. And of course, you are able to select which applications you want to block and which applications you want to pretty much leave alone without having to Touch ID to open them. And that's of course useful and it's some sort of bioprotect, but this one is free. So again, very interesting. Next one in line is Dock in Switcher, and this one is actually very interesting. Let me show you. If I open, for example, an application, and let's say I open this one here, I'm going to touch ID. You can see, since it didn't recognize my finger, it didn't work. I'm going to try again, and it worked. So, as you can see, uh, the application worked, but if I go back out of it, you can see that the application has been added to the dock in there. If I open another application, it will do the same thing. So, let me open the Homes application and get out of it. And as you can see, it's been added to the dock as well. And if I want to close the application, I pretty much have to press in here and keep pressed and I press that little minus icon and it will close the application. So this is actually very interesting. You can pretty much have the open applications in the dock right next to your shortcuts or applications that you normally have on the dock, which of course looks very, very interesting. And in my opinion, it's actually faster to access the applications that way. And the last one on the list is Cylinder. Now I know that Cylinder is old as dirt and the only reason it made it to this point in the video is because it has been updated for iOS. 11. So as you can see, it works pretty fine. There are a lot of effects that I can actually use and I'm going to show you a couple of them. So if you go ahead here on settings, I'm going to touch ID on the uh, settings in here. And as you can see, we have the uh, effects, formulas and randomize. I'm going to go ahead here on the effects and of course I'm going to change it to something else. You can stack up multiple effects if you want, but I don't. And I'm going to go here to cube outside, for example. And if you exit, it's going to change it to the cube. You probably remember cylinder because it's been very, very popular throughout the years. It has been updated to work on iOS 11.x, which is something very good. I'm currently running iOS 11.3.1 with the Electra jailbreak on this particular device, so I think it's very, very good that it's been updated. But anyways, for those of you who like it, you can definitely get it. I'm going to show you one more effect, so it's this one here, card horizontal, and it looks like this. So yeah, pretty interesting effects if you want. The cylinder application has been updated, it works on iOS 11. And these are the new or updated tweaks for the iOS 11 Electra jailbreak. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated for more tweaks and videos. Peace out.